Hello everyone, this is Quarry from Samsung Canada. In this video I'll show you how easy it is to install, configure and use uh, the new uh, Smart Through Workflow Light Document Capture and Routing solution, which is part of the Business Core solutions that we launched in November. This is a serverless application, so it's running inside the copier without uh, uh, requiring any additional resources like a dedicated server or dedicated IT people. It's really simple to, uh, to install and use, which I'm going to show you in this video. Uh, like any XOA application, the first thing you have to do is in order to install, you have to log in as the administrator into the web interface of the copier. And then um, you have to go to the maintenance menu and application management and add the application file. And basically once you hit OK, the application file is um, transferred to the MFP's hard drive and it's going to run Java code internally uh, using its uh, resources like CPU and memory. Uh, also, uh, with any XOA application, once you uh, load it onto the copier using this menu, you have to log out and log back in in order to configure and use. So we'll do that. And all the applications uh, that are loaded onto the copier are going to be found under the XOA menu, uh, like this. Notice that there's uh, several of them that I have loaded on this uh, specific device. It's a 9352 uh, in our enterprise showroom. Smart for Workflow Lite is one of them now. And we'll overview um, the structure of Smart for Workflow Lite. Um, there's three menus that you see on the left-hand side the work form manager menu which is basically the menu that you use the most once it's installed and configured uh, and this is where you'll create your templates or work form uh, work forms how we call them um, the, it comes by default with a single template a sample one which uh, is called scan to my email and essentially it would scan back to, to your email if you have authentication enabled to, uh, to the copier um, but we'll create a, a couple of examples here. The second menu is the job history, and this is basically where the copier will maintain track of the executed uh, work forms, along with uh, uh, their details, like whether it's success or failure, and um, uh, any details. And also there's a tab for settings, which is very basic. So it's uh, regarding uh, the job history retention period, which can be anywhere from one day to uh, three months. By default, it's 30 days, which is fine by me. Uh, access to the log without authentication or not. Um, the display name of the icon on the copier screen. Let's call it Samsung Flow. Hit apply. And then uh, whether you want to use fax work forms. Um, I'll actually go over this in detail uh, shortly by creating an example. You can change the work form icons for the work forms to display on the copier uh, front panel. And there's a very useful uh, data clone feature, which allows you to uh, export and import all the settings in Smart Through Workflow, including templates and everything else, uh, in a single file. So that means that if you have multiple copiers deployed um, and you your technician configured uh, one of them and created a few templates, you can easily back that up as a file and either use it to restore data further down the road when you do uh, you know, maintenance to the copier or just clone a different uh, copier with the same settings. So this is really a useful feature. Um, we're actually going to use it right now to import 
some templates that I uh, created previously. And I'm going to overview them. So now when we go to uh, work form list, we'll have two uh, additional templates that I created previously. And I'll just uh, explain how they, uh, how they work and what they do. So the first one um, is called incoming fax routing by caller ID. Um, let me first explain the general layout of a template or a work form is um, there's three sections, input, transform, and transmit, as you see here below. Input means where are you capturing data from, and Smart Tool Workflow Lite um, allows you to uh, scan from an, an MFT or uh, use a fax board uh, and incoming faxes as a data source. Uh, in terms of transform, um, it supports uh, a full page OCR, multilingual OCR. I'll overview that in the next work form. Uh, zone OCR, I'll overview that in the next work form. And data exporter, which uh, means you can save um, uh, data as XML for a different, uh, let's say, solution that might use data from smarter workflow. Uh, and uh, the last component of a template or work for in general is the transmit. So where are you sending that data once it's captured and processed, which can be folder, fax server, um, and folder means network share, right? Uh, email address, FTP server, or uh, the home folder of the authenticated um, user in Active Directory. And obviously, depending on how you play around with uh, input, transform, and transmit, um, there's a very big number of templates that you could potentially create um, to respond to a specific customer environment need. So in this one that we're creating now, we're uh, using the fax uh, incoming data. And as you see here, we'll, uh, we'll save the faxes, incoming faxes as PDFs. Uh, we won't print them locally on the MFP, so we won't waste any paper. Uh, and uh, there's a caller ID field here that I left intentionally blank. Uh, this caller ID field can be used in two ways. Uh, if you leave it blank, then you have the opportunity to, uh, to use the caller ID information, which is extracted from the incoming fax, as a variable, uh, for example, for folder or file name generation, which is what I'm doing uh, in the transmit area. So I'm going to open up the transmit area. So you can see how that's configured. So transmit has a folder, which means it's going to push uh, the incoming fax to a network uh, share, which has some credentials, right? And in terms of uh, output file name, I'm using the variable uh, information from the caller ID underscore and the variable information uh, from uh, the timestamp when the fax was received. You have access to all these variable field here. So there's a bunch of data available for selection in file or folder uh, generation like this, right? So, so this is what we're doing here. Uh, I was mentioning that I left this intentionally blank. So that's one way of doing things. Uh, the second way, which could be also uh, used in, in, in a fax plugin, is uh, to put in an actual number here like 905123456767. So once we do that and save, it means that only when an incoming fax is coming from this specific caller ID number, then it's going to be routed to whatever, folder, email address, FTP server, and so forth. So that means that you could have, hypothetically, several uh, similar templates with different uh, caller ID numbers here in this field, which would route differently depending on where the fax is coming from. This is a neat feature, very, very powerful. Um, so let's see how this works. So we have uh, exchange fax in our environment. So I'm just going to send the fax to this uh, 9352 using a special exchange syntax. And um, the result uh, fax, which is going to be received by the MFP, is going to be pushed, like I mentioned, um, into this folder, which actually is a share on my laptop. So it's coming back to my laptop 
into this um, you know shared folder. So we wait for that. Now the, the fax is uh, transmitted from Exchange to our MFP. But in the meantime, uh, I want to overview the second template that I have created here. And this is also a very, very powerful template. What this does, it's a, a basically extracting uh, data from a hard copy document, like a contract you know, um, or an invoice, or any document that has a fixed layout, uh, essentially. Uh, I'm extracting a specific area of the of the document, uh, which is called zone OCR in this context, and using that data as a variable for file name or folder name uh, creation. Uh, so, in general, this template is going to look like this. It's going to scan data with some preset scan, you know, uh, parameters, and then uh, I'm doing a, a full page OCR. Uh, Smart Workflow supports uh, multilingual OCR with more than 20 languages. Uh, supports various uh, file formats. You can save it as a rich text format that you can open in Word, for example, and it's an editable file, uh, CSV, Excel file, or PDF, searchable PDF. And it also has a very nice uh, post-processing uh, capability uh, by um, automatic de-skewing and automatic rotation of the document. That means that um, if there's any skew during the scanning, or uh, maybe you fed, you fed the document upside down in the feeder, uh, Smart Workflow will detect that and it will correct it automatically. It's a very nice feature. Uh, but the most powerful is the Zone OCR. And zone OCR basically extracts data from a specific area of the page um, and pushes it to um, um, a folder. Uh, sorry, uh, pushes it to a, a variable which can be used uh, as a file name uh, or folder name in the transmit section. What you see here are basically the x, y coordinates of the uh, area that we recognize on the page as a barcode. It supports both barcode and text. Uh, let me show you how uh, you create a zone OCR template. It is using a utility called zone OCR template manager in which you have to import um, you know, your, your fixed layout document, like a contract or uh, invoice or whatever it is. In this case, I'm using um, one of our uh, you know, internal uh, expense report documents, which has a barcode on top. So I'm extracting this barcode like this as a zone um, OCR area, and, um, uh, and then save it as a template. So that's what I'm doing here. So let's see how this works out on the copier side. Let me just refresh the front panel here. Uh, notice that the uh, uh, icon for uh, for this solution is now called Samsung Flow. Like I uh, I change it in the settings. And there's a bunch of other icons on the front panel of this copier because I have several solutions installed. Um, so some are not familiar to you. Um, uh, you're familiar with out-of-box icons like copy and scan and fax, but these are uh, results of applications being installed. Uh, this is the Smart Workflow Lite, and this is the barcode zone OCR uh, template that um, I was uh, overviewing before. Let's see first uh, the document that's in the in the in the scanner. I have a page on the glass which is. Uh, one of those uh, expense report documents that we use internally. I'm going to do a preview so you see how it looks. So this is how it looks. It has that barcode on top. And this, this information here, let me zoom in a little bit. What be, uh, below the barcode is actually the text information corresponding to the barcode data. So this is what we'll extract, hopefully, and use as a file name um, in uh, in the transmit plugin of Smart Workflow Lite. So it's going to generate a file name with this name. It's going to be a PDF, a searchable PDF with this name. This is what this uh, template should do. So let's go back and uh, execute the template. During execution, you can always change the uh, predefined uh, settings for scanning and so forth if you click detail. I'm just going to 
use the the predefined for now. And basically, once uh, the zone OCR is executed, this should push a file into my network uh, folder, which is here. Uh, so by the way, this on top, and the file just came in, it's also coming in by email, as you see. Um, the top file is the file generated by the incoming fax. So it has the caller ID information, which was 905-755-8813, underscore the date stamp when the fax was received. So this could be a very powerful uh, fax uh, receiving indexing solution for a busy company like a, an insurance company or whoever is using fax a lot. Um, the second file that is here in this folder is the actual result of, um, of the uh, barcode OCR, uh, zone OCR extraction template that we executed. So it does have the file name, which has the barcode data. This was the barcode data, right? And this is the actual file. So with this type of solution, that was the point of this demonstration. With this, this type of solution, you can very quickly, within minutes, implement an automatic workflow solution into a customer environment, which can be quite powerful in nature. Um, and it's a serverless solution. It doesn't require any additional you know, manpower or any additional resources, no server uh, to run. Thank you very much for, uh, for attending. We hope uh, you found this demonstration interesting.